It doesn't matter if you're using WebEx for meetings or training or presentations. You're going to love the WebEx polling feature. This tutorial is the basics and how to create polls. Other tutorials will follow that will give you more details. When we can't see the nonverbal cues of our participants, the WebEx poll lets us interact with them. We can ask questions like, how's the pace? Or do you want to stay on this topic or move on to the next? Or what's your level of agreement? And have people then give us a quick response anonymously that is shared within the meeting. So this tutorial is going to help you create polls in WebEx. We're going to talk first about how to enable the polling panel, and then how many response choices we have and what they mean. We'll talk about how to actually create the poll in the WebEx polling feature, then how to change your response type if you happen to have put it in and you want to change it, then how to save a poll, and lastly, how to open a poll that you have previously saved. Many of the polls that we do in WebEx can be used again and again in our meetings, presentations, and training sessions. And in those cases, we do want to save them and reopen. In Meeting Center, the polling panel is not enabled. You have to manually do that. If you're in Training Center, it is enabled, but you still need to understand the step I'm about to go over with you. You are looking at a live view of WebEx Meeting Center. This whole screen is called the Meeting Manager. We are in Standard Screen View. That means there's Whiteboard tab over on the left. This is where you saw me put my slides in the class. On the right-hand side, we have a series of panels that we can change as we like. We're going to focus in on the right-hand side of the screen on these panels. In Meeting Center, there are four tabs that are the defaults, Participant, Chat, Recorder, Notes. Notice there is no tab for polling because in Meeting Center, we have to enable that privilege. So we're just going to go just beyond Notes to this downward-facing triangle that says More Options and Controls, and we're going to find the Manage Panels window. When it opens, Notice that it says the current panels are Participant, Chat, Recorder, Notes. That's exactly what we just looked at a moment ago. And we have a polling panel that is available but is not loaded. All you do is just click on the polling panel, click on Add It, and then click OK. And notice that now up on the top we now have a fifth tab that is the polling tab. In Training Center, the polling feature is just a little bit different, but in Training Center, the polling feature is enabled by default. So you still may need to go in and manage the panels and move things uh, on and off of the meeting manager for everybody. I like to keep it pretty uncluttered, so if I'm not going to use notes, for instance, I will go ahead and remove that from the list. And when I click OK, notice we're back to four tabs, but it's the fourth tab is the one we just enabled. Now let's learn how to create the WebEx poll. So before you actually type your WebEx poll, you have to determine what kind of answer do you want from people. With WebEx polls, you can have a single answer response. So you ask a question, maybe give three, five choices, whatever. They can only choose one if it's single answer. Second is multiple answers, where you say a question and you maybe give them five responses, and you say choose all that apply. Uh, the third would be a short answer or a completion kind of a question. And here is where you put the question out there. And then there's a space where people can actually fill in a sentence, a phrase, um, a whole paragraph if they want. Let's take a look now in WebEx. So this is the polling window, and we'll talk about all the features as we go through it. But I'm going to focus your attention here first. So you have to first of all select what kind of question do we want. We're going to do a multiple choice with the single answer. And so all you do is click the new, see how it says add new question, and then we're going to go ahead and type uh, how is my pace, and then I'm just going to hit the return key, and I'm going to put go faster, just right, go slower. It's just that easy. This poll is done, and it's ready for you to go ahead and open to the rest of the group. This is a poll I would use often, so I'm going to go ahead and save this poll. Go into My Documents. I'm going to find the Project Team Meeting folder here, and I'm just going to give it a name that is meaningful. So I'm going to put Pace Poll. That way, in any meeting that you're using, you can come back and use it again later. Now let's try the second kind of question, multiple choice with multiple answers. Here's a question that's set up to give a single answer. But let's say we want to change this, and we want to know what are your top three favorite colors of those shown. Well, let's go ahead and change it. So uh, which are 
I will change the question first, which are uh, your favorite uh, three colors uh, colors of those shown. And we're going to go ahead and just modify this here. And then the answers, we have to change it so that we can see a rectangle to the left. So you just go down here and where it says type, multiple choice, single answer, we're just going to go and select multiple answers. And then change type just got active. So we're going to change the type of question to multiple answers. And that's all it takes. And now we have little rectangles here, which means they can select as many as we specify. Normally, when we allow them to click all that apply, I usually put an extra parenthesis after this just to remind me when I give the poll to say it. But uh, I will put select only three maximum. And uh, then I go ahead and send the poll out for everybody. To ask a completion polling question, you want to go in and just select short response. Click on new so we can put the question up there. Then all you do is type the question, what do you want to improve? And then when you hit the return, it doesn't look like anything yet, but when you click off of it, you'll see there's a little bit larger rectangular box. Don't let this throw you off. When people actually get this polling question through the WebEx polling feature, they can put in a whole word, they can type in phrases, sentences, even a whole paragraph. There's lots of space for them to put their answer in, and so it's just that easy to create that type of a question. Every poll that I type, I save in a folder where I can get at it really quickly in meetings or training or presentations that I deliver. And so this part of the module will talk about how to open a previously saved poll from my documents. In Meeting Center, you can only bring one poll into the meeting at a time. In Training Center, you can bring in all of your polls in a series of numbered tabs. But if we want to open a poll, we just click on the Open button, and it will take us, or we should navigate to, whatever the folder is for that particular team. And then, if you've given your polls meaningful names, all you do is just click on it, just double-click on it, and there it is. It's ready to go and ready to send out. There are a couple of other pointers I want to share with you about the WebEx polling feature. Let's say that you put the following poll in. What is your level of agreement? Then we have a series of answers down here. I agree. I dislike it. I will go along with it. I have some issues with it. Well, these are not in order from high to low. And oftentimes when you're doing these polls, you want to make sure that you have degrees of acceptance reflected here. So the one that's out of order is the second one, I dislike it. I want to show you that there are two arrows at the top here that you can move that line up or down without having to retype it. So I agree, probably the next one should be I will go along with it, so I'm going to move uh, the dislike it line down. And then um, I have some issues with it. Um, uh, maybe then I dislike it. Uh, so uh, it kind of gives you degrees of difference and allows you to be able to move things up and down in the poll as you like. Another useful feature is that within a WebEx poll, you can have more than one question. This is probably more appropriate for those of you that are in training rather than in meetings itself. But let's say you want to put two questions in the same poll. We can do that. So we just asked what was your level of agreement. We had those ranges of agreement. Let's say we want to do a new question and we want it to be a short answer. We can go ahead and type in the question and then can put the answer in. And so when this poll goes out to everybody, it will have both questions on it and will reflect both questions at the same time. Let's look at the Options button. For the most part, in a small meeting, you can pretty much ignore the Options button. But let me explain what this is about. Let's say that you're doing a meeting or a presentation with 100 people, and you ask a WebEx poll. This allows that poll to stay open for five minutes. If you try to close it before that time, you are going to get timed out. In other words, it's going to take about another 10 seconds or so till you can display those results. Well, 10 seconds can seem like a very long period of time. So if you have a larger meeting and you want to be able to close the poll, no matter how many have responded, and share those poll results right away, you will want to uncheck this option and click the OK button. That will allow you full control over when you close and when you share the results, and you will not be timed out. And so let's review what we've learned about how to create polls in WebEx. First, we learned to enable the polling panel in Meeting Center. 
we learned that in Training Center and Event Center, it's already enabled. In all cases, you may want to go into the Manage Panels menu and eliminate those panels that are not being actively used in your meeting. It just makes it easier for your participants in your session. Second, we learned that there are three kinds of response choices, single answer, multiple answers, or completion. You have to decide what kind of answer you want before you go and type the poll. We learned then how to use the Create a Poll feature to actually put a question on there and get the proper response choice for that question. We also learned that you can change the response type. If you type it in wrong and have it for a single answer, you can change it to multiple answers in the list just by changing one click. You also can save the poll. Many of the polls that we use can be reused, and so it's, you want to have a folder to place them in so you can find them quickly. And last of all, then, is you want to be able to go navigate to that folder to be able to open a poll spontaneously at any moment during your meeting, training, or presentation session. Well, now that you have learned all those tutorials, we want to put them to good use. And so we want to announce that we have a brand new course called How to Put Wow into Your PowerPoint Slides. Even if you are graphically talented or you are not, this wonderful course is going to teach you how to make very exciting slides like those that you've seen in these tutorials. There are a lot of great techniques that you can use to really grab the brain appeal of your audience and keep them riveted into seeing what you have next to show them. So this concludes the first of the tutorials on WebEx polls, how to create the polls in WebEx. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner, the webinar guru, looking forward to seeing you in part two.